me looking for another car in GTA. <laughs> like, if that was in real life, that'd be so awkward. You literally just committed a crime. You wrecked a car, probably ran into a pedestrian, <laughs> ain't even got insurance, and you're just running. That is a hit and run felony. <laughs> like, ain't you gonna clean that up? <laughs> no one. Trevor in GTA 5. Dude, that man is ugly. <laughs> he is the perfect picture of a predator. <laughs> Like, whoever thought it was a good idea just to shave the top of your head and keep the rest around it like a salad bowl? <laughs> and have y'all seen the voice actor for him? You know, from Walking Dead? He looks just like him. It's creepy. But Trevor was also, like, my favorite character to play. He's just so much more reckless. <laughs> when you got five stars in GTA and you're waiting for stuff to cool down, <laughs> them cups are so clueless. Literally just hide on a roof, behind a bush, just stay out of direct eyesight and they are like oh he's gone let's just go home they don't care i literally hid behind a trash can once and they walked right by me and all i did was punch somebody like why is that so bad he was fine didn't even kill him when you play in gta with your friends but you just bought it you'll ride slacking hey if they good friends they should loan you a car at least until you get enough money to buy a lambo which everyone does in like a week it's the first thing you get you ain't winning that race man if you do, then they're just nice. Me, running in GTA. My thumb. It starts to cramp. <laughs> but you really gotta get away from that five star. <laughs> That's the same with Red Dead Redemption. You just constantly trying to go fast. <laughs> GTA is the only, like, universe where the physics allow you to grow hair in a single haircut. Literally 10 seconds. <laughs> like, how'd you get out of the barbershop with more hair? <laughs> of course it's $250. They're magic. <laughs> The GTA pedestrian watching me zoom towards them at 90 miles per hour. <laughs> they wouldn't even care. They're just like, hey, what's your problem? <clears throat> they are donezo. <laughs> and they don't even try to move. I mean, they do, but they just chase them. <laughs> this is so wrong. <laughs> when your mom randomly enters your room at night and you only have a second to think of a sleeping position. <laughs> and you gotta hide the evidence, like the controller or the switch or Game Boy. Usually you just throw it under the pillow or just throw it across the room and you cover your head with a blanket. <laughs> like you never sleep with the blanket completely over your head. So why do you think that's normal to do? Just close your eyes. <laughs> Nobody, 13 year olds in GTA Online when they first get it. <laughs> I am the God of destruction. <laughs> like they're about to let out a lot of pent up aggression. <laughs> and usually they're pretty good at the game. <laughs> and it's a little concerning. When an NPC driver flips me off in GTA 5. <laughs> That's it, mister. You just lost your living privileges. Pow. <laughs> like, dang, you know in real life someone flips you off. You can't just kill them. <laughs> but I do that too. As soon as someone makes me mad, especially in Red Dead, like people hit me with their wagons all the time and I'm just like, okay, you have chosen death. Pow. <laughs> when you buy a game a few months after its release and play online for the first time, <laughs> not a good idea. You missed your opportunity. Everyone there will obliterate you. <laughs> this is exactly how I was when I started Red Dead Online. Like that game came out years ago. I just started it like maybe a few months ago. So I had some catching up to do and people were ruthless. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Me downloading a 90 gigabyte game. <laughs> My family trying to use the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I need all the Wi-Fi of the month for this one game. <laughs> and then it takes like an hour. That's the only thing I hate about getting a new game, like Red Dead and GTA on my Xbox. It took over two hours to download that crap. And then by the time it's done, you're tired or you gotta go eat dinner. <laughs> Cops in GTA San Andreas after you changed your shoes. <laughs> I have never met this man in my life. <laughs> Who are you? You're an innocent civilian. Have you seen this one guy we're looking for? <laughs> no officer. <laughs> I would usually just try to change my hair and then they can't recognize you because they're stupid. <laughs> but sometimes when you commit a crime, the barbershop shuts down until you lose the stars. Video games cause violence. They're bad for our children's brains. <laughs> me trying to follow traffic laws in GTA. That was literally me when I first started playing it when I was really young at a friend's house. I would always try to follow traffic laws, like stay in the lane, follow the stop signs, everything. I was so boring. <laughs> Minding my business in GTA 5, cop crashes into my car. And then the cop's like, so, you've chosen death. Let's go. <laughs> like, you ran into me, bro. Why is that my fault? <laughs> All GTA training has led to this moment. <laughs> Dude, don't do it. You see how it's just a little off the ground? 
you are going to crash into it. You're not just gonna jump onto it. Cars don't know how to do that. <laughs> this is not gonna end well for you. Guarantee he did not have a second Snapchat that day. <laughs> GTA 5 police be like, hey, pull over. I said pull over. <laughs> okay, and then you just kill me? <laughs> how does that make sense? How does A get to be here? <laughs> 11 year old me when I found a flamethrower in GTA. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh dang minute. There's flamethrowers? How did I not know this? Dude, I would have burned down the whole city first day. All problems gone because all the people are gone. <laughs> and that is how serial killers are born. <laughs> Please don't call the cops on me. I haven't hurt anyone yet. <laughs> Slaps roof of the cop car. Five stars. You're dead. You are done. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> Like I barely touched it. Why are you so mad? I didn't do nothing. The car ran into my hand. I think technically that actually is illegal. Like if you go punch a cop car or spit on it, for example, it's called defacing property or something and they can't arrest you. So just don't mess with the cop car. I've killed thousands of people. Is that a confession? And stole a thousand more cars. But of course I'm going to park in between the lines. I'm not a monster. I always try to do that. I'm so boring. Literally, I park in the lines and I always hitch my horse. Literally, I park in the lines and I always hitch my horse when I'm going anywhere in any game. <laughs> Sees you entering with AK-47 and the worker is just like, what would you like to order, sir? Bullets? Okay. <laughs> Indestructible bushes. Dude, these graphics designers were just lazy when it came to grass. Do not try to go through the bushes. You are going to die. I know it doesn't make sense. It's not my fault. I didn't make the game. Just telling you how it is. The grass is stronger than any concrete. <laughs> Driving in GTA, how it should be. Dude, I am not gonna make all them unnecessary turns for 20 minutes when I could just fly down in a second. I won't even die. I'll be fine. But I would not recommend that in Red Dead because literally you are going to fall off a cliff. No matter how flat the land looks, you're gonna die and fall off of something if you try to just go off the path. I can't explain it. It's just gonna happen. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. So comment below your favorite online game, GTA, Red Dead, anything I can't think of. <laughs> Let me know. And as always, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on social media, links are down below, and I'll see you tomorrow.